what is up? I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm gonna be teaching a move that is like a staple and a foundation of shuffling. It is called the T-step and I'm gonna show different variations. I think it's like five in total, but I'm gonna show you the ways that I do it, how I learned and hopefully teach you how to do it and get you up and moving, especially if you're doing this during your quarantine. Like stay active, learn a new skill is freaking awesome. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into it, okay? So first of all, I wanna say that a T-step is like a fundamental move of like traveling. Like this is how you will essentially travel from one side of the floor to the other. Like when you're dancing, like a lot of it and like cutting shapes and shuffling, like you can stand in one spot, but it really, really like changes like your expression when you're able to like move from here to there and then you're like back there and up there like just moving around the floor instead of staying in one place like really adds depth and like dimension to your flow and like your dance and it really like accentuates like what you're doing. I'm just gonna show you like the standard way that I learned how to do a T-step. It's just like your normal T-step and it looks like this. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to show you from the back so you can copy me exactly. Um, yeah, we'll just get right into it. So the foot that your weight is going to be on is just going to be making this motion. And you're kind of just going to be heel toeing, like weight is on your heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, toe. And then once you get comfortable doing that motion, you can add in your other leg here. So when your heel, when the weight is on your heel, your toe will go down. And then the other leg. Do it with like an eight count, we'll do it slow. So go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And then to the left. One and two and three and four. And. I hope this is making sense. You know, like I'm just like new at teaching other people how to shuffle. So it's like, I don't really know if I'm making sense or getting through. So like all the feedback is like very much appreciated. The next variation of the t-step i'm going to show you is kind of like a diamond and this is inspired by the one and only van seco check her out she has a ton of tutorials too um but yeah this is who i got this move from and who inspired me to teach you so it looks like this from the front The only difference is this foot, instead of going down, is going to stay here on your toe pointed and it's opening and closing so your knees are together and knees are apart. Literally just re-watch that as many times as you need to and just keep doing it over and over again until like you got it down, you know, because that is literally all it takes like practice makes perfect so once you get down all of the basic of like the foundation of the t-step and just moving that like heel toe once you get that down you really can just like it makes it easier to get all these variations so i recommend like m making that like as strong as you can before you try and like do all the funky stuff this variation is a toe tap in your t-step so it looks like this from the front Side. You're doing this on account of like one and two and three and four, and your toe is gonna be pointing on the and. So if it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, in the back it looks like this. The 
the next variation of this move is another toe tap and it looks like this. So with this you could either put like a heel like up or you could do a toe and you're just like, imagine there's a line that you're doing this on and you're just tapping front, back, front, back. So all the weight is on your right and you're gonna go back, up, back, up, back, up. And back it looks like this. The last variation of this move is like a toe touch while you do that. This one was inspired by the one and only Elena Cruz. Love you girl, you're probably not watching this, but if you are, I freaking love you. Everyone go like check out her stuff. She has a ton of tutorials too. Um, but I'll show you what that toe touch looks like. Instead of bringing it back up here, you're going to bring it in the back and tap your toe. So, tap your toe, go down again, tap in the front. Tap in the back, tap in the front. Out, front, front, back, front. And that's really it. Just keep doing it slow with counts, work on your speed, and you'll be good. So something that I do want to add is connecting this move to other moves, like a transitioning it to other moves. I get to this point where your knee is up, so it would look like this. You're here. So then this is when you would be able to do like a running man. And then once you're back at this position, you would be able to go the other way. That's pretty much just how you can connect it to your other moves and yeah you beginners just hang in there just work through that beginner phase you know that's literally all you got to do and then you'll be like super confident rocking doing it without thinking about it alrighty guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the next because there's gonna be plenty more this is a part of my like quarantine content <laughs> but for now have a great rest of your day thanks for watching